why don't you run for president? Why don't you and Dice run? Clay Corrigan, the ticket. Clay Corrigan, twenty twenty. That could happen. Yeah, you know. Yeah. Okay, we'll 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 run against. You can vote for we'll, me we'll, now. We'll, we're gonna run against Robert yeah. Ritchie in the in the uh, yeah. uh, run run for. Yeah. Uh, he'll be like Detroit senator yeah, yeah. or whatever. He'll be like in the debates. He'll be just like, you know, my. He'll be like, <laughs> I'm over here. But my opponent said, I don't know why you want to go and raise taxes. I just thought if we could raise taxes on the poor. Huh? You dunce. We can vote for me now, or you can vote in an hour. Back. Get it? You can go to the booth and vote now. Or you can vote in an hour. But get it. <laughs> I can guarantee you, I'm gonna be the last one out of here. That, doesn't he say that on that record? He's like, the day the laughter died. Yeah, right. He's one like, of the greatest albums ever recorded <laughs> of any form, not just comedy. Because this is the thing with that album. No, we're, we're not just here to talk about it. First of all, give Dice's number in your phone. Do you call him? Do you ever call him? You text with him? What do you do? I I can text him right now and see if he if he gets back to oh, me. Can you imagine? Because this album, he does the day the laughter died. He's at the peak of his fame. He's playing all these meatheads at Madison Square Garden. He goes and does this show. Just it just says comedy outside of Dangerfields. <laughs> Not his fans. He does it at a Christmas crowd in New York. And then these people just come in and they're just seeing they're not fans of him. And then on top of it, he doesn't do any prepared material. And then he records it and puts it out as a double CD where there's stretches in there where it's so quiet. Where he's like, that, that. And then he starts doing this thing, this hour back, get it, where he runs this thing that is a non-existent joke so far past where a joke should go that it becomes the funniest thing you've ever heard. You know, we you... could do this fast, or we could do this in an hour. <laughs> back, get it. <laughs> Does he ever do that wife voice to you? He did. He very rarely, but the times that he that he has done it, I I've been like, oh my god, oh. That's... I just thought we could go look at the tree. It kind of. Oh god. Huh? You want to see the tree? Uh, look out the window, you dunce. So you texted Dice. I'm texting him now. You know, I, 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 that's why there's like all this silence, you know, because I'm like. <laughs> who else do you have on your phone? Who you had you got? Who else is on? Let me. Who else do you have on your phone? James LeGrosse. You have him on your phone, right? I do. Should I call him? He's good. Yeah. Let's see what Dice says. Look, I just want to talk to you. I don't want to talk to Dice. Mike. If Dice calls, hang up on him. You tell him to call back in an hour. If Dice calls, Mike, you tell him you call back in an hour. Hey, look. Back. Get it. There you go. What's that? Is that the... Uh, this is your book. I, I signed book. it. Yeah. Yeah, you want to see Thank what you. I did? I do. We have a guest book here. It's it's signed by everybody who's been on the show. Oh, wow. You, tra you drew the Henry Rollins. That's fantastic. I'm surprised no one ever did that. No, I, nobody I, did it. I, I thought that was the uh, the whole idea. Yeah. I've looked into the abyss, and the abyss has looked into me, and neither of us liked what we saw. I see the lines flashing. Hmm. Should I pick that up? I Perhaps. I don't know. Uh... Best show. Hello? Yeah, how you doing? It's Andrew Dice Close. Kevin Carligan is still there. Kevin's here, yeah. 
Kev. Hey. It's, How it's, you doing? It's, 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 it's Milkshake here. What are you? Milkshake. Well, he, he, Bruce, he goes, I'm a little shaky. <laughs> <laughs> How's it going? Uh, what show is this? I don't even know. I saw the number, so I'm just calling. It's the best show. It's called The Best Show. My name's The Tom. Best Show. Yeah. My name's Tom. I'm the host of it. Tom, how's it going? What are you on? We're all over. We do it on the on the internet, then it's a podcast tomorrow. tomorrow. Oh, cool. Yeah, we cool. built the studio. So you just came into New York? You yeah, were... I just came to New York. I got to uh... Oh, you I got to do my end of things tomorrow. Yeah, you got to. You, you, so you. We don't got to. Uh, wait, wait. Are uh, you at the airport now, again, Tom? Wait a minute. Who am I talking? That was Kevin. Okay, you're Tom, Tom right? Sharpling. I'm Tom. Tom Sharpling. Tom Sharpling. Yes. Yeah. No, I, I'm at the hotel. I'm unpacking. I saw. I saw my buddy Shake uh, is on the show, so I'm calling. Are you having fun up there, at least? Yeah, Kevin's going nuts. He's doing all sorts of impressions. He was doing John Lennon and Mean Streets earlier. That's hysterical. Wait, wait a minute. i got to hear that. Uh, oh, well, you know. Let, let oh, you me, don't let, want to repeat it. I don't want to repeat it. You know, I, I, I'll, do a few, I'll do a few next time I see you. You know, you know Tom, that's how, how Kevin is on the set also. Is he starts you know, a thing and then. They, you know. When he's done with something, mm -hmm. he's done with it. That's it. Yeah. Like even if I said to him, you know, you know, uh, you know, maybe you want to try this. He goes, "No, you're annoying me." <laughs> he's the best. I was telling Jake. him. I was telling him that. Yeah. Look. No, I no, because hey, look, we're buddies. We talk to each other where we got it. That's it. You know. But are you going to be? You're not going to be in L.A. on Sunday, are you, next Sunday? No, I won't be. I'll be here. Oh, shit. Can yeah, I, last I know year. We, we watched the last, last premiere night. together. What's that? We watched the last premiere together. That's right. But not this And it was time. like you just appeared. That was the great part about you it. You weren't expecting me. I came over to, sh to, uh, to your place, and uh, we watched the show together. And uh, That's right. That is correct. I've seen a bunch that, of the shows. And now I'm here and i got to do all this stuff tomorrow. What, now, what, can, yeah. you, can you say what you're doing? Or, or is it... Yeah, i got to do uh, Good Morning New York. i got to do um, talk soup. AOL. Uh, Bruce is saying Talk Soup. And talk Stoop. Talk Stoop. Talk Stoop. <laughs> Who's, Who's the host? host of what that? show is that? Do you know that, Tom? I talk stoop. Well, I think there's that the one stoop. where you sit on the stoop and get interviewed on the stoop. Yeah, and some hot chick with big tits is going to interview me. Are you going to be smoking a cigarette? Of course. In your fingerless so, gloves. That it, it, let me tell you something. I just took out my outfit, right? <laughs> and you're basically saying it, it's shorts, like these big jean shorts with the with the fingerless gloves. With some kind of stupid boots that I wear, and uh, and a still rebel T-shirt because they just uh, they just put their album up on That's the girl. iTunes. Of course, so you you gotta get you gotta get them out there. Yeah, That's yeah. Of course, I get no, but now it's time, you know, because people are already seeing. Somehow they're seeing our first episode. That's getting you know? around. It's a great episode. I, I saw it. It was yeah. great. It was fantastic. Yeah, I I don't know how they do that. I'm not like computer savvy. You know, I'm waiting for the actual night it airs, but uh, people are loving it, and they're loving my my sons are in the show too, Tom. Those, those are my real I, sons. I in saw the show. I saw it. It was it was a good episode. It was a great episode. Yeah, yeah, and uh, and they got a band called Still Rebel, and they just put the uh, album up on iTunes last night. So I got to go on these shows and promote everybody. Yeah. All of us. You know, especially Shake, the best. You know, he's, Shake, you are going to love yourself. It's amazing that I'm calling you Shake, but that's what Tom called you. That's, um, that was your idea to, to cut it, you know, to abbreviate it from milkshake to shake because you knew I was going to get bothered by everyone I'd walk by on the yeah, street. Yeah, it was like, why be called milkshake? I know, you spit. Shake. You shake is just cool. You spared me the uh, 
you know, you 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 bought you bought me some time there. Yeah, well, you know what? Let's hope we buy a couple more uh, seasons of time. You know what I mean? But but Tom, you haven't seen the whole season, obviously, but he's just phenomenal this season. No, he's the like best. They, you know, the first season, you know, the writers got to get to know everybody. But this season, they really wrote his character amazing. You know, and, and, I, and I just love him for the way he does everything. There's only one you know, of him. There's only one of Kevin. There's, there's only one of Kevin, and he's great at being Kevin. And he's just a great actor. But we and, have you know, this, Dyson, I have this Jake and Joey thing, I'm t- right? Like Raging Bull. <laughs> Is it like, yeah, you never got me down, Joey. Me... I don't go down for nobody. Listen, don't, don't, look, what do you got to prove? What are you going to, who are you going to prove? You going to prove something? Joey, yeah. I don't go down, Joey. I'll take your money, Joey. <laughs> Wrap it around your hand. I know, Wrap what, what, your... two more times, right? Wrap it around your hand, Joey. Don't make me ask you again. I'm your older brother. Listen, not, not too many more times, right? Listen, <laughs> That's the relationship. That's the really we capture that, Tom. We get no, we, we, you know, Tom. When you do a show, sometimes you don't get close at all with your, your co-stars or a movie. Mm-hmm. But immediately, you know, uh, me and Kevin, even even when he he first came out to L.A. and met the producers, whatever, we're in the street smoking cigarettes, you know. Mm-hmm. You know, just, he's just a great guy and a, and a phenomenal actor. Do you think he's? So like a, do you think he's unknowable though? Ultimately, is Kevin ultimately unknowable? Well, he is a chameleon. That was, wait a minute. Wait a minute. I saw him. What was it? Something is playing now. It's just out of my mind. The name of it that he plays this great role in. Do you know what I'm talking about, Kevin? What is not, not the Netflix show? Something else, a movie that's just playing into the HBO or Showtime, Bruce. Yeah, but yeah, he just morphs into anything. Hey, you know, he's a method actor. You know, so when you know that, you just become that, and it's amazing. Yeah, Strasburg. Yeah, and let me tell you something. Even though we're doing a sitcom. The part he has to play, it's intricate because he created this guy from nothing, you know, yeah. and where he takes it is like you can't figure him in the show. Yeah. You're like in I his never world. know what angle he's going to come yeah. from. He makes you go to him. It, you know what? And I don't mind it because he's great. And when I play against great actors, it's only going to bring my own performance up. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. You know my favorite yeah. my favorite album of all time, Andrew Dice Clay, is The Day the Laughter Died. It's my favorite that, album of all time. It's a masterpiece. That is, that is a lot of um my fan you know, that is the favorite album of fans. You know, and it was done at a time where I was doing twenty thousand seats a night, so I really wanted to do something different. You know, just an unsuspecting crowd. Sure, and and it became the favorite of all the albums. Was, was there? A, I don't even yeah. know what the hell I'm talking about on it. Well, but it feels like you just <laughs> needed to hear what laughter could be, rather than screaming and cheering, and just ride that silence and that laughter. And there's something so beautiful well, when, about it. Because when you get to do it like that, it's more about the performance art, and I get to act it out more rather than just rapid-fire, you know, comedy. You know, that was the thing that always bothered me with comics, is that they they really don't understand real performance. Mm-hmm. So after 10 minutes, I would get bored watching comics when I was a young kid, and I wasn't even really that into stand-up. It was more about acting to me. Yeah, because you started with The, uh, the Nutty Professor... Bit yeah, all that, all that stuff to Jerry Lewis and to Travolta and then developing myself as a performer. And to me, it was like going to acting school every night playing in a comedy club. Yeah. You know, and there were people that, you know, of course, didn't get it. But, you know. What are you going to do? I've, I've done over 12 million people in concerts, so I think yeah. a lot of people get it. 
an hour back? Do people scream that out to you? That's the Sometimes they do yell that shit that is, out. That is the greatest six minutes on any comedy album. Because it was all about the timing and the laugh, not about the bit. And and the people that, that, that album went gold in three days. That's how fast that, uh, and then it went platinum. But like, I couldn't even believe that. But I had a sense of the fans and how they liked the oddball shit rather than just real solid bits. Like, I love going off the cuff. And, and in this day and age, I don't even think about my show till I am on stage. Mm -hmm. You know, and that's what I enjoy doing more, you know, playing it out almost like a one man show. Yeah. Well, it's, 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 uh, speaking of show, your show's this Sunday. I know it's late. Everybody's got to go to bed for a busy Who days cares? tomorrow. I, have, I haven't slept in 40 fucking years. So I'm not worried about that. All right, I'm just looking out for Kevin. Kevin looks a little uh -huh. woozy. He's not going to sleep now. <laughs> trust me. Kevin's you know, when, Kevin's when, looking when a little... Kevin got done at the end of the day, mm -hmm. his day first began. Uh-huh. You know, yeah. he's the best. Well, he... And we had a lot of fun this season. Yeah. I like that. I love shooting in Vegas. A lot of fun. I can't wait. You know, it was a grueling schedule, but we did it again. Tropicana. No. <laughs> Tropicana. Was the Tropicana was better than it's Treasure it's... Island? You, you want to know something? I was just there this weekend. I had to perform for three nights there this weekend. At the Laugh the Factory. Weekend. At the Laugh Factory, that's right. The famous Laugh Factory at the Trump. Yeah. A friend and, of mine um, A friend of mine went to say hi to, to a, a mutual friend at the comedy store, and you were talking to that friend, and he walked over, and you said to him, walk away. You told oh, him, I wish you said to me. Before you said those two words, and my manager will love this, who's sitting next to me, tell me what you said to his friend. <laughs> and I would have said, walk away. Because he was like, he was going up to I, say hi to Bobby Lee, and you yeah, were like... I just don't like strangers, Tom. What am I going to tell you? I was taught when I was a kid, don't hang around strangers. So when a stranger comes over to me, I tell him, walk away. I don't know you. <laughs> you know what I mean? Oh, I'm, I love with to perform. I'm with you. Listen, I love to perform, all right, Tom? Yeah. And I tell my own audience this. When I'm in front of them, I go, listen, if you see me in the casino after the show, don't come over to me. I don't want to take a picture. I don't want to get to know you. I don't want to hear some dumb fucking story about me from 30 years ago. <laughs> I don't need to meet you. I will give you everything I got right now, but I don't want to hang out. You're strangers, and that's it. <laughs> and I just love to make them laugh. That's just the way I am. You did your part. What is it? So, Will Chamberlain had a thing where a coach was trying to get him to play hard and, and, and practice. He said to the coach, you're going to get it from me once. Do you want it in practice or do you want it tonight during the game? You tell me which one. You tell me which when when you want it. You're going to get and that's it once. The kind of uh, performer I am. I just want to get up there and do my thing. I don't rehearse my bits. I don't practice. Three quarters of it I come up with on stage. You know, and and a friend of mine that works for me is um, he was Buddy Rich, the greatest drummer that ever lived was his son-in-law, mm -hmm. and he's a great jazz drummer. And he would tell me, you and Buddy would have got along so well. <laughs> he goes, because Buddy would never rehearse either. And, and the guy I'm talking about, his name is Steve Arnold, he would rehearse the band because he's a great jazz drummer. Buddy would actually tell him, if you want, you rehearse the band. I don't rehearse. I don't play other than when I'm on stage. You know, and that's it. Certain performers are like that. Yeah. I'm not sitting backstage going, oh, what bit should I use? I'm thinking, I can't wait to see what I come up with for them. Sure. You know. You get to watch your own show then. You're kind of, you're entertained by it as it's happening. Yeah. I'll take a hit of pot and I'll go up and that's it. Done. Lights out. <laughs> 
Wow. I can't wait. You know, you look at some chick in the front row, married 25 years. I go, you want another 25 years in the elevator when he's all over you? Just go with it. Let the eye in the sky look at you. Now you're in the hallway. He's feeling you up. And that's allowed because uh, Trump made that a law that you could, like, finger chicks. uh, If You know, know, like before he became president, said, you see a girl, you could grab a pussy. It's like a law now. So everybody's now watching in the hallway. You get it to the room. She's sucking on your dick like it's a lifeline as you're dragging it through the living room. Uh, uh, Now you get her on the uh fucking bed, uh right? Yeah. You know, with the heels, like, mm-hmm. coming off the floor a little with that big fat sure. bumper sticking up mm-hmm. in the air. Mm-hmm. Now you get yep. a missionary snarl. Oh, yeah. Now you maybe boomerang fucker mm-hmm. a little bit. One leg up, belly full of milk. Sure. Lights out. Yep. That's, That's a, story, a story of my life. You know. <laughs> All right. You know, because to sit and talk to them, Mm-hmm. You want you want, I want to tear whatever hair I got left out of my head <laughs> just to have a conversation. <laughs> oh, all you right. Know, I got to end know, this. When, I... a guy, when a guy says move in, mm-hmm. it's the worst <laughs> possible thing he can ever say <laughs> because now you're you're living in that same apartment or house, mm-hmm. and if it's a rainy day and you got to pass him ten times, oh, well, I got to have a conversation with you. Yeah. Can't we just yeah. wave? Yeah. Can't we nod at each other? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Midnight blowjob upstairs. Yeah, yeah, see? I left you the yep. note. Mm-hmm. That's it. I'm right there with you. I'm telling you. I hear I hear it, you loud and clear. It, it's just a certain logic I yeah. have. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. No. May- Kevin's shaking <laughs> his head no. I'm shaking my head yes. Maybe that's why every marriage and fiancé and girlfriend I ever have is not with me anymore. <laughs> yeah, and that's why I say to an audience that the minute you say hello to a girl, remember, it's the beginning of the beginning of the end of the relationship. That's it. Mm-hmm. And people look around like, really? And, I, and I'm like, just think about it. Look at whoever you're with and try to figure out, did I ever date or marry anybody before this person? And you'll know just how fucking right I am. Mm-hmm. So get your fucking money's worth. My producer is waving at me and telling me I got to wrap it up. I wish I could keep well, going. Then that's that. what we got to do. Yeah. Well, I appreciate Jake. you checking in. Dice is on what, this Tommy, Sunday? Tommy, yeah? listen, thanks for having me on. Of course. It's my Jake, pleasure. I love you. You're going to kill it this season. And I look forward to seeing you soon, actually. Yes. Okay? Yes. All right. Thank you yes, for checking friend. in. Yes. All right, lights out. And there he goes. He hung up as maybe that is the final. This is the final episode of the show. First of all, I will say, I'm never doing this again. I'm truly speechless now. I have usually words just flow from me. I just now, I don't know if the best show exists anymore, actually, now. I'm not sure what anything is right now. I do know <clears throat> Hey, Mike, how, how are we doing? Do these Beach Boys cards come with gum? I don't think so. I don't, I don't think. I think you would have found some gum in there. I, I was just thought maybe the... I thought maybe there'd be a gum for for mm-hmm. the each pack that uh, you had the. Uh... <laughs> Wait, who's who's writing me? First of all, someone sent me a Logan Paul T-shirt to my home, and I'm want to know who that was. I'll talk about that more next week, if there is a next week. I'm covered in sweat. I've never sweat. I've not sweat on this show in. He is sweating. It's I not am, even that hot in here. I am, it, no, it's cold in here. <laughs> I'm drenched in sweat. I've never had less control over my own show than I did for the last half hour. It ran against everything that the show is and has been for coming up on 20 years. 
In fifth, I think in 20 minutes, we said goodbye to all of it. It's unrecognizable. <laughs> Get out. Mike's in paradise. This is Mike's dream is that I watched me lose control of the show. <sighs> all right, I'm soaking wet now. My body is screaming at me. The Best Show is produced in partnership with the Forever Dog Podcast Network. The show is hosted by Tom Sharpling and features John Worcester, Jason Gore, Pat Byrne, and Michael Lisk. The show is produced and written by Jason Gore, Pat Byrne, Michael Lisk, John Worcester, and Tom Sharpling. The Best Show is executive produced by Tom Sharpling, Brett Boehm, Joe Cilio, and Alex Ramsey. The show is engineered and mastered by Andrew Gleason, website and technical support provided by Martin Sellis, and the show is recorded at Forever Dog Studios in Los Angeles. Support The Best Show on Patreon over at patreon.com slash thebestshow, and follow us on YouTube, Twitter, and Instagram over at Best Show for Life. That's Best Show number four, Life. Thanks for listening, and we'll see you next week.